OK, so you want to be able to spill non-spillable functions. We're going to look at how to do this with sum, median, count if and or, but it will also work with other similar functions. Now, this tutorial does assume you know how to use the lambda function. If you don't, I'll provide a link in the description of this video to a tutorial that I've done on that particular topic. So very simply, we want to create a spilled formula that will add up each of these rows. Now we're going to use a combination of two functions to do this, by row and lambda. So I'll start with by row. Now by row allows you to specify an array. So ultimately I want to better add up all of these rows. But what by row will do is it will return each row as a separate entity. So then I can do a calculation on each of those rows. Now to do the calculation, I need to use Lambda. And I need to provide a parameter or a name for each of those rows that by row is going to return. To keep it simple, I'll just call it a comma. And then I need to specify the calculation I want to perform on that parameter. And I want to sum things up. And I want to sum up each row. So a is each row that the by row function is returning. So I close the bracket for sum, close the bracket for lambda, close the bracket for by row, press enter, and I get a spilled array of results. Now say I wanted to find the median of each of these columns as a spilled array formula. So for this, I would use by col, and by col allows you to specify an array and it will return each of those columns within that array as a separate entity, which I can then use in a Lambda calculation. So I have to use Lambda to do the calculation, and I have to give a parameter name. Again, that will be the name that is used to refer to each column that the by col function is returning. I'm just gonna use a comma, and then I need to find a median of each of those columns. Close the bracket for median, for lambda, and for by col. And I get a spilled array of median results. Let's look at count if. I want to count the number of values in each of these rows that exceeds 4,000. So because I'm doing this for rows, I have to use by row. My array are all these numbers, comma, lambda. Parameter, again, I'll call a, comma, count if. So for each row, my criteria is greater than 4,000. I have that criteria in I2. You can't see it at the moment, but it is there. Close the bracket for count if, for lambda, and for by row. And it returns the results as a spilled array. Now I can do the same for each column. Equals by col. The array is all the columns I want to do the calculation on, comma. Calculation I've got to do with lambda. The parameter I'm going to call a, and then the calculation is count if range is a, so each individual column, comma, and the criteria is in B13. Close the bracket for count if, for lambda, and for bicol. Now, you might also want to create a spilled array formula for AND and OR. Now, what I'm going to do here is create this formula, but in a spilled array version. And basically, this formula needs to calculate the bonus, which is 50p per total unit sold, if at least one of these targets is met. So the total needs to meet this target product one needs to meet this target, or product four needs to meet this target. Now to do this, we don't want to return a whole row. We want to be able to return each individual value within the relevant columns. So for example, the total column, the product one column, and the product four column. And to do this, we can use the map function. So I have to specify three arrays here. 
The first is the total units sold column. That's the first column I'm doing a test on, comma, then the product one column, comma, and then the product four column, comma. So then, now I've specified each of those columns, I can use the lambda function to perform my calculation. So I've actually got three parameters now. So the first parameter I'm going to call total. So that's going to refer to the total column, which is the first array I've mapped here. Then the second parameter I'm going to call prod one, and that refers to this array here. And then the third parameter I'm going to call prod four for obvious reasons. Then I can specify my calculation and that's going to use all. So my first test is, is the total value greater than or equal to this target down here, comma, and then is my prod one value greater than or equal to this target here. And then lastly is my prod four value greater than or equal to this target here, close bracket. Now, if I close the bracket for lambda and then for map and press return, at the moment I'm just getting trues and falses. So then what I need to do is take this logical test, which I've created here, and put it within an if. So if this or formula returns true, then I need to return a calculation of the bonus. Now the bonus is the total unit sold times the bonus per unit, so 50p. And I can refer to that total value using the name I've given it, so total times the bonus per unit. Otherwise, I want to return a zero. So I just need to close the bracket at the end there, press enter, and I get the bonus calculation spilled into that column. Just need to apply some currency format and I'm done. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.